Au. Hello, happy Easter. Welcome to cut, uh, not cardio fitness, but hand weights with Katie. So let's just take a few calming breath in. Shoulders on top of hips, stomach and chest proud. We're gonna inhale the arms up above the head, lengthen the spine, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. One more, inhale arms up, lengthen the spine, Exhale down, hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall, take a breath here. And we're gonna stretch out the neck next, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, lengthening, stretch. Relieve any tension that you may have. No need to rush. Slowly come up to center the other side, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Use the same hand, guide, or support the head. Stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little bit longer. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, and exhale, turn with the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly come back to center, turn up, half up. And then chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, look at the right armpit. Slightly from the chin in. 45 degree angle, repeat down. Slowly come back to center. And now we can look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. Slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. We're going to go shoulder strap. Right arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, relate them first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. Slowly release, shake it up, the other side, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen first, place the palm behind the back, use the other hand to guide up, tricep stretch. Slowly release, shake it up, hands on shoulders, elbows in, elbows out, inhale one way, exhale the other. Through the pinch your shoulder blades. Open up lung heart chest. Improving your posture. And when you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close together, pointing the shoulder joints. Go the other way, reverse the direction. Slowly come back to center. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we come to a side bend. Bending the lower arm, top arm is pressing you. To the length in the side of your body. Chin up, looking up. Slowly come back to center, laying the lace spine, exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is pressing it. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Slowly come back to center, and then we're going to get ready for a twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, slowly turn. Overlooking your shoulder, look at the line. Turning the neck as well. We're going to inhale to prepare, exhale to turn. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs. And we'll stay here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. 
Inhale, Dhyadhamma. Forming and pressing, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Get aside. Opposite hand, opposite thumb. Dhyadhamma below. Bring it all right, leave behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. We're going to inhale to keep turning. Exhale to turn. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent. Looking up. And slowly, slowly release. Come to a neutral tabletop. Keep your weight with you. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, palm of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. We're going to go into cat and cow first. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times. At your own breath, in your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Cat and cows will help people to relieve back pain. So two more times. And one last one. Slowly come back to neutral spine, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale and send exhale to overlook the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together, left the hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swing side to side. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg out. If you like, and hold on to the weight. Once you're set up, elbows uh, to knee for five times. Go your own breath in your own pace. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. And repeat on the other side. Set yourself up, left arm and right leg out. One straight line. Once you're set up, elbows to knee for five times. Crunch it in. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Come into a new leg. We're gonna get this motion going up and down. And if you like, you can grab a hold of the weight. We're gonna do single single first. One at a time. If you prefer to do this with our hand weight, perfectly fine. You can always adjust, adapt, modify to suit your needs. Let's try some doubles. Breathing in and out through your nose. As always, listen to our body to avoid injuries. Let's do another three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Take your time, we'll get ready to come up. Legs are hip width apart. Feel free to walk the dog out or walking your legs, alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. All ten toes facing in front, legs are hip width. 
We're gonna come to another Krasan move. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release index finger, go tall. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Shoulders and hips are level. Inhale, center, tall, long. Exhale to the other side. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Inhale, center, tall, long. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is pressing. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. And slowly come back up. Lengthening and center. Exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is pressing. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Inhale, center, turn long. Exhale down. Doing a few shoulder roll. Alternating shoulder roll. One up and one down. Go the other way. Shake it out. Have a sip of water before you start, and then we're gonna get going. Grab your hand weight. Legs are hip width apart, all 10 toes facing in front, shoulders on top of hips, tight bell will close your body, palm facing up. We're gonna get going one at a time, single, single. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. Try some doubles. Nice and slow. Full control. Don't rush. Especially when you release. Shoulders on top of hips. And when you're ready, we're going to add a knee drop. Knee drop is totally optional. You can continue with singles without knee drop. Let's do another three, two, one, slowly release, shake it out. Bring the weight up to the shoulder, push it up. Let's try some doubles. Now when you release, nice and slow. Don't swing the arm. Control your movement. Pull your belly in, but not so tight that you start cramping. For those who wish to challenge themselves, you can add a knee drop. Knee drop is totally optional. Take a break whenever you need. Half a sip of water. And join us when you can. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Bring the weight to the chest level. Now open up. Not higher than the shoulder. One at a time. Single, single first.
Let's try some doubles. And when you release, control your movement. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues. Don't lock your knees. Let's try some knee drop for those who wish to challenge themselves. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Shoulder roll in between sets. Tuck the elbow close to your body. We're going to extend. So give you a side view. Single, single first. Let's try some doubles. Knee drop for those who wish to challenge themselves. You don't have to go very far down. Slightly tuck the table in. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Up, pull it up. So we're gonna do single, single first. Can only do halfway, that's fine. Let's try some doubles. Only up to the shoulder head. Knee drop for those who wish to further challenge themselves. Another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Bring it above your head. Hold on tight. We're going to drop it behind our head. One at a time. Soft knees. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues. If you hear some clicking sound, just be more mindful. And feel free to do this with our hand weight. Let's try some doubles. Control your movement. Let's try some knee drop. Let's do another three, two, 
and one, slowly, slowly release, shake it out. And we're gonna stir one at a time. So one arm is clockwise, the other one is counterclockwise. Get the brain busy, coordinating your movements. Let's change direction. So we're going to go counterclockwise this one and clockwise with the other one. Let's do a couple more. And one last one. Very good. Shake it out. Shoulder roll. One up, one down. Loosen up. Soft knees. Go the other way. Shake it out. Legs are both apart. We're going to go side to side. One up and one down. Feel the length to the side of the body. Let's do a couple more. And slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. And we're going to touch opposite hips. Knee drop. Watch your back. Don't pull a back muscle. Knee drop with toss and turn. Let's do a couple more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. We're gonna do that drop, so we're gonna go all the way down, soft knees, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest, forward bend, take your time to rise up, neck is long, spine is straight, roll the shoulder back. Engage your core abdominal muscles. If you can only go halfway, that's fine. We're hinging from the hips for this one. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. Nice and slow. Thank you. 
stations in the street. Sailing on, turning the snow in the light. Following on, Let's do two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Arms up, palm facing up. We're going to curve it in. Be mindful if you have shoulder issues. Let's try some doubles. Knee drop for those who wish to challenge themselves. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, please shake it up. Tuck the elbow close to your body. Open shut. Body remains stationary, soft knees. Let's try some doubles. Knee drop for those who wish to challenge themselves. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Give your side view. You're going to have a soft knees. You're going to go open up. Or better yet, if you want to do a pulling motion. So let's do another three, two, and one. You're going to do the other side, the side of you. Soft knees. So it's like a pulling motion here. Let's try some both. Pull, pull back. Let's try some knee drop. Let's do another three. Two and one, very good. Shake it out. Just gonna need one weight, soft knees, bring it above your head, and circle the head.
go the other way. So if you were doing clockwise, do counterclockwise. And if you were doing counterclockwise, you can do clockwise. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Stepping your legs about three feet, toes up, it out. One hand on your waist. The other hand, we're going to punch it down. Take your time to rise up, up above your head. If you can only do halfway, that's fine. Know your range of motion. Let's do another three, two, and one. Switching side, take your time. One hand on your waist, the other one, punch down. Watch your back, watch your shoulder. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out, holding on to the end of the weight. We're gonna pass it through the legs, so I'm gonna do this squatting motion. Pass it out underneath the knee, go around the back, Get low if you can. Let's do a couple more rounds. And one last one. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Two toe here to bring the legs together first. Shake it out. Gonna pass the way around again. This time, around the waist. Once again, watch the shoulder. You want to add a knee drop. So I'm going in a clockwise direction. Let's do another three, two, and one. Pass it here for a moment, and I'm going to pass the other direction. Counterclockwise. Holding on to the end of the weight.
Let's do another three. Two. And one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Widen your stand again. One hand on your waist. We're going to push it up. Let's do another three, two, one. Very good. Straighten out. Go to the other side. Hand just resting here. Don't put a whole lot of weight. And we're going to push it up. Widen your stand. Open up hip joint. Strengthening in the thighs. Let's do a couple more. And one last one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a diagonal stretch. Hold on tight. Looking up. Lengthening the side of your body. Staying here for three. Two. One. Slowly release the other side. Lengthening the side of your body. Hold on tight. Looking up, staying here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. Heel toe, heel toe, make the legs together. Have a sip of water, and we're going to go and use the chair. We do hamstring stretch. Shift the weight to one leg. Bring up the other leg. If this is too high, leave the leg on the ground. Square the hip to the front. Point the toes up to the ceiling. We're going to inhale the arms up to the hip. Exhale, hinge, leading with the chest. Holding on to the chair, the foot, or the legs. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Leg is long, spine is straight. And we're staying here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly rise up, release, alternate, bending, release. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Shift the weight to one leg, pop up the other leg. If this is too high, leave it on the ground, point your toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front, inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale to hinge, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the foot, the chair, or the leg. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Leg is long, spine straight. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up, release, alternating, bending your knees. Mountain climbing, bicycle, quarter stretch. Shift the weight to a standing leg, holding on to your chair. Grab hold the ankle, don't open up the knees. Knees together, take the foot into your hand, walk in your standing leg and ankle. Abs are firm, looking at a point on the floor or at the horizon, something that doesn't move, and we're going to stay here. For three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. Quarter step stretch on the other side. So we can shift the weight to the standing leg. Grab or hold the other ankle. Knees together. Take the foot into your hand. Abs are firm. Eyes in at the floor or at the horizon. Something that doesn't move. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. Working on our glutes. Shift the weight to one leg. Holding on to your chair. Bring up the other leg. Small little kick. 
perhaps affirm, eyes looking at your focal point. For those who wish to challenge themselves, go on to opposite elbows. Squeeze your butt in tight. Staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Shift the weight, keep sending it. Bring up the other leg. Smaller, okay? Squeeze your butt in tight. You can hold on to the chair for support. Or you can hold on to opposite up your choice. Staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, alternating, bending the knees. And we're going to continue. Toes are pointed out. We're going to get this motion going. And if you like, we can add the weight. Only up to the shoulder height. Don't swing. Control your movement. Slightly tuck the tables in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Let's do another three, two, and one. Release, switching side. One hand on your waist, so get this motion going. When you're ready, add the arms. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Stepping in the legs together, we're going to step back at the arms above your head. Coming into a side bend, hold on tight. Let's do another three, two, and one last one. Switching side. You can hold on to the chair, or you can go to the other side of the chair. You can have hands on the waist, get this motion going. You're going to step back and bring the other weight up. Take your time, hold on tight. Another three, two, and one. 
Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. So we will continue with the chair. Shift the weight to your standing leg. Elbows to knee. Flexing the outside foot. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, switching side. You can hold on to the chair, go to the other side of the chair, or you can have hands on the waist for support. Flexing the outside foot. Outwards to knee. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, please shake it out. So we're done with the chair. So we can move the chair aside. Soft knees, we're gonna do a few round of hula hoop. Loosen up. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly, come back to center to release, shake it out. And we're going to take, make our way to lie down on the yoga mat. If you need water, have a sip of water first before you come lie down. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. And down with your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Let your body get used to lying on its back. We're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So keep your weight close by, one on each side. And make sure when you go back, your knuckle lands on the mat. So don't bang up your knuckle. So when you raise your arms up above the head, knuckle is going to land on your mat. So we're going to do the bridge pose first. Knees are two feet apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the hip high, high up, forming a bridge. Exhale to lower down. One word of at a time. So inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale down. So connecting your breath with your movements. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Engage your core abdominal muscles. You'll put yourself in your little foot. Now, if you'd like to add the hand weight, grab the weight, one on each side. We're going to lift the hip up, one arm up above the head. Knuckles on your mat. When you come down, bring the arms and the hip back down. The other side, inhale to lift the hip high up, arms up above the head. Exhale. 
to lower down. Now hold on tight. Feel free to do this with bow hand weight. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your core to set and the glutes are firm. So in another words, squeeze your stomach tight. Your thighs and your butt are firm. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles. Keep your pinus spine healthy and strong. Let's try both arms. So inhale to lift the hip up, both arms up and above the head. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Exhale to lower down. One at a time. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Let's do two more. And one last one. Bring him high, high up. Exhale to lower down. Very good. And we can release the weight. Hands on your thighs. Wedge your white foot, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come up. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce up a few times. Come into leg lift. And by your side, palm facing down, chin to chest. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. Flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Stretching your hamstrings. Energize the body. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Once you have good blood circulation, you, your oxygen level is going to go up. And that will increase overall wellness, increase your immunity level, improve digestion and sleep quality. And when you're ready, we're going to lift the head chest up and we're going to reach for the toes. So if you like, you can grab the weight, holding on to the end of the weight. You're going to use the core abdominal muscles to lift the head chest up, touching opposite foot. So opposite hand, touching opposite foot. Now feel free to do this with our head weight and make sure you're not coming up with your neck muscles. So no tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Let's do a couple more. One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Let go of your weight. And down by your side, palm facing down. Three rounds of leg lift when you're ready. Take a breath first. First round, lower down for seven. 
six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it. Bend both knees, lift the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower than for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here, last round. Lower than for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it, pulsing it up and down for another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release, bounce it out. Going to come to a spinal twist. So move your you put in the side. Left foot on right thigh, using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Hips automatically comes off. Shoulders, shoulder blade, upper body still on the mat. Turn a little bit to the left side of your neck is good. Stretch, strengthen, and hold the lower back muscles. Hopefully, this will help you with people that experience back, back pain. And we're going to stay here. Four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to center. We're going to go to the other side. Spinal twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide it on me. As close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height. Palm facing down. Turn it over the right side of your neck is good. Stretching out lower back muscles. Creating spaces between vertebrae L4 and L5, helping those to relieve back pain. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one. Slowly come back to center. Grab your arms around your knees, knee to chest, coming into a big, big circular motion. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping people to relieve back pain. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center. To release, bring the sole of your feet together, let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. And down by your side, palm facing down. Slowing down the heartbeat. Leg gravity does the job to open up the hip joint. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the knees together. Drop them to the right side, raise your right arm. We're going to come lie right down on our side. When you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. And we're back in a comfortable seated position. Big, big cut. Love yourself always. Happy Friday. Happy Easter. You go arm if you can. Lock the elbow, grab a hold of thumb. Lift the elbow something away from the body, from the down shape. Slowly release. Big, big cut on the other side. Wrap your arms around you. Now you can stay here. You can lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb. You end up with the thumb facing the nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, from the action. Ego arm. Slowly release, surrender, interlace the finger, gently place it behind the head. Pull forward. Release any tension that you may have at the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. So we've come to the end of the workout. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through the workout. Always my pleasure. Namaste.